let me say, I think historically, I meant historically, in the Philippines, there is no history of anti-Semitism. The history of anti-Semitism is in mostly, I would say, you see it in uh, different parts of Europe, you see it in the US, of course, you see it in uh, uh, Arab uh, countries, of course. Um, there is no history here, I think, because it's a different sky. We have a different history. And uh, the Jews were persecuted in Europe because big concentrations of the Jews were in Europe and in North Africa. In, so, so this is where we have the, this, this history. I think for me this is, uh, and, and, and I have to say that we are worried with the growing amount of attacks against Jews to the extent I don't think people understand that Jews around the world in many places are now hiding any Jewish symbols that they are not in order to prevent being attacked. This is unbelievable. I think this has been expressed again in, in, the, in the abstention. Now, I have to say, again, we voted against this resolution because I said there were more elements which were problematic for Israel. So we don't have to hide here. And we were hoping that more countries would vote against. But on the other hand, we do recognize and appreciate that the Philippines was a, 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 had any voted in, a, in abstention because of some principles that were lacking, which were important for the Philippines and important for Israel. And I really appreciate that. We don't feel, um, uh, and again, from that aspect, uh, there's no discrimination here. I think it's important for people to learn, to understand what is happening now, what is this war all about. And I call upon them to... It's okay to demonstrate for the Palestinians, in support of the Palestinians, but let them really demonstrate against the real source of this war, which is Hamas, which is a threat to Israel, to the Philippines, and to the international community.